<clears throat> Hi guys, so good morning, or well, it's morning to me. So I woke up this morning and I was going to wash my hair and there's no hot water, so please excuse it if it's a little messy. But I am currently still reading A Quarter Wings in Ruin, but I am about 15 more pages in than I was before. And I only have one story left in The Language of Thorns, which I'm kind of sad about, but I'll probably finish that today as well. And then I can start Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Hey guys, so I'm almost done with my section of A Quarter Wings and Ruin and I decided to take a break and finish The Language of Thorns. But I received my rep package from Pies and Pros. She owns an Etsy shop and I rep for her. Um, currently I have a code um, PASTEL10 which will give you 10% off any purchase. Right now she has a lot of slimes and sugar scrubs and my favorite thing are the unicorn oils which i wish i had one to show you but i had to leave them in my dorm but i received some of her new stuff that she just added to the shop so i'm going to show you guys the first thing is a butter slime and the scent is apple butter and she added these little terms for the christmas season which are, i think are adorable but if any of y'all are familiar with slimes they're just kind of useful for relaxation or like something to play with and this one's like a foam. Oh, it smells amazing. I can smell it from here. That's the stuff I really like about her stuff is it smells great the moment you open it. Um, but the next item is the most exciting to me. It is scented rose petals and ginger snap cookies. And these are the new item. They are little rose petals that are kind of like potpourri. So they smell. This has to be one of my favorite scents. Um, it's just so warm and like cinnamony and it smells just like gender snap cookies. I really suggest picking one up. I know I'll be using them in my pictures for Instagram. So that was my little rep package. I'm going to get back to reading this and when I finish I'll share my thoughts on it and update you on my progress of everything so far. <clears throat> so I just finished A Language of Thorns and I think the last story is the best story in the entire collection. It was really good. It was a twist on the retelling of The Little Mermaid, but it wasn't exactly that either. It was it was really good. I love the Bardugo's writing. Like I said in my earlier vlog, I did feel like the ending of some of these was very rushed, kind of. Um, it was kind of like the climax would be reached and then the resolution would kind of hit and then it would move directly to like a wrap-up statement that was about like three pages long, like kind of like a denouement, but it wasn't really. And like I understand that kind of mimics other... Um, fairy tales that's kind of how they into like 
and like she didn't follow along with Aelin happy they ended happily ever after they lived happily ever after but it's still kind of surmise stuff and I wasn't a huge fan of that but it didn't really take too much away I do only give this a four out of five I will say this illustrations added a lot to it um, each page was different you if you looked you would notice things missing or added or moved and it was really great I thought it helped tell the story even more and I do suggest this book, especially if you do like Lee Bardugo, or if you like fairy tale retellings at all, this is a great book. Again, the last story was my favorite. Um, but yeah, and now, since I finished this, I'm going to pick up Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? But I don't think I'm going to start that till tomorrow. Uh, my main reason is I'm just kind of like not in the mood for it. But also, I, th I still have to finish up a little bit in A Quarter Wings and Ruin, which I'm going to get back to. Um, and then I may or may not update you guys later. It just depends. But if not, I would have just read that section that I need to read in A Quarter Wings and Ruin. Probably nothing else. But I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. What was that wave?